Hello everybody, welcome back to Being the Odds. It's Friday, March 10th, 2023, and we are back with our college basketball best bets of the day. If you're new to the channel, my name is Zach, and welcome to Being the Odds. Hit that subscribe button, like this video, hit that notification bell so you never miss a pick. We post these college basketballs every single day, along with the NBA and NHL. Uh, we swept the board in the NBA yesterday, so definitely check that video out. Uh, we're going after our first 3,000 subscribers, so I'm really excited to have you all here. Let's win together today. Let's go make some serious money. To recap yesterday's results, we went four and two, but it was a bit of a roller coaster. Our first two games, we had Michigan minus three and a half. They shot like one one for 17 the second half absolutely atrocious and we had wvu plus three and a half couldn't get the cover um and what when you saw the bill self do this hopefully it's okay you, kansas is going to win that game by about a billion uh they can win it for coach self and i think they're gonna win it today against um iowa state we'll talk about that here in a minute um then we rattled off four straight wins we had tc our best bet minus two easy winner penn state plus two and a half Easy winner. By the way, Illinois' free throw shooting, absolutely atrocious. That's going to cost them big time in the tournament. This, they could be a first round out just based on their free throw shooting alone because they lost that game more than Penn State won it. Uh, Providence plus 7.5. Huge comeback. They end up coming back and covering. Um, and guess what? Good teams win, but great teams cover. Providence, a great team yesterday for us. And we had Creighton minus 4.5 as an add-on on Twitter. I posted that on my Twitter. Uh, that was a W. Very easy W. I think it was a double. I think they won't beat Villanova by 13. So easy dub. We had 4-2 yesterday. That brings us to one nine. 94 and 139 for the year in college basketball. Uh, so we're actually 55 games over 500. We'll take that every day of the week. Um, and we have four picks going today in college basketball uh, for a conference tournament Friday and three more I might add later on my Twitter, which we'll talk about here in a little bit. So I'll start with our best bet of the day, my favorite bet of the day, which is UConn minus three and a half versus Marquette. The sharp money's all over UConn here. Um, and I think this spot for UConn has. In this case, they have a clear size advantage. Their guards match up pretty well with Marquette. Uh, Kolek on Marquette is the best guard. However, I think the next two best guards are on UConn. They shoot well, and they have the momentum advantage. They, they look good. Uh, Marquette does not look very good over the last few games. And it's also a quasi-home game for UConn. Like, these UConn fans, they travel uh, from Connecticut to MSG in New York City. Most, A lot of their alumni work in New York City, so they're going to be easily be able to travel to this game. It's going to be 75% UConn in this game as far as the crowd goes I love UConn in this game plus I think this game's gonna be a really tight game the whole way it's gonna be a fantastic dog fight the whole way and then about four minutes left UConn's gonna pull away get up by seven or eight and up winning by four or more it's gonna be a fantastic game but UConn's gonna pull out the cover and the win I like UConn here minus three and a half our next bet is Creighton minus three and a half. They're playing Xavier. It's another system play. Uh, but even if it wasn't, I'd smash Creighton in this spot. The dis our system, by the way, for those guys who don't know, is when an unranked team is favored against a ranked team, you smash the unranked team, you take them. Um, here's the deal. Xavier has a distinct advantage against most teams in their size. They do not have that with Creighton. Uh, Nudgy is a great player, but Kalkbrenner literally, I think, is basically, the, I think they're exactly the same height. And they're not going to have, like, they're not going to be beat up on the boards like a lot of teams are when you play Xavier because Kalkbrenner will be able to neutralize Nudgy. They're going to play to essentially a draw. If that's the case, I love the other four on Creighton uh, more than I like them on Xavier. Plus, these are two teams that are trending in different directions. I just don't think Xavier is that impressive. You look at them the last month or so, they have not been impressive whatsoever. Um, I, I really like Creighton in this spot. The momentum, they're just better. I love them here. They're going to win this game very comfortably between 9 and 12 points. Uh, it's not the, the, the covers, it's going to be a no sweat cover. I love Creighton here, minus 3.5. Our next bet is going to be TCU plus three versus Texas. I'm going back to the well here on TCU um, because we bet on them a lot throughout the year. We bet on them a ton against Texas, and we won both times uh, when we played against TC when TCU's played Texas. And here's what I'll tell you, guys. TCU in this spot, they've outplayed Texas both times they've played. And I misspoke a second ago. We had a last-second cover by Texas that was absolutely heartbreaking. Immediately Street didn't mean anything. But here's all I'll say. Mike Miles is the best player on the court. Texas has no one to, no one to cover him. And TCU killed a great Ken, uh, Kansas State team last night. I mean, killed them. It was a 13-point game, but, I mean, it was the disparity in talent is really obvious. Um, and Texas beat up on the Little Sisters of the Poor in Oklahoma State. I'm not really sure Oklahoma State's going to make the tournament with how bad they are. Like, they just lose to every good team that they play against. Um, but I think the tougher schedule helps you in this situation. Like, because you're actually battle-tested versus playing an inferior opponent. Like, I don't think there's going to be a shock to TCU when they play Texas. 
Texas. K-State is very, very good and has beaten Texas this year. Um, plus, I like the wing defenders on TCU. They're going to be able to match up well with everyone on Texas. One thing I'm a little bit worried about is the size advantage Texas has because Lampkin won't be playing. But I like TCU plus three. I think they win it outright. They're going to win on the money line, but I really, really like TCU here plus three. Our final bet that is locked in is going to be Kansas minus four and a half versus Iowa State. They're going in this tournament looking to win it for Bill Self. Hopefully he's all right, but they're going to go in there to win it for Bill Self. And I, th I also think that people, when they when they doubt Kansas, including me, by the way, who doubted them yesterday, they always rise to the occasion. Iowa State has no one to guard Jalen Wilson. And Kansas is going to get up and down the floor. Plus, this isn't a fraudulent Baylor team that Iowa State gets to play like two times back to back. Like, Kansas is the real deal. They're going to smoke Iowa State like they did last time they played them, the time before that. Um, I love Kansas here. Minus four and a half. They're going to win this game by another you know, comfortable margin by 10 or 11 points. Now, there's three games I might add later. I'm going to give you guys them right here. Uh, the other games that I like, I like Arkansas plus one versus Texas A&M. Not committing to that yet because I just think Arkansas, listen, I like Arkansas a lot. But they're suspect free throw shooting, and they haven't put together their talent all year long. Plus, I've been on AM the whole year, and they've been great to me. Uh, Maryland versus Indiana is a pick em right now. Um, I'm not really sure which way I'm going to go. I like Indiana in this spot, but Indiana has disappointed me so many damn times in the last couple weeks that I'm not going to touch Indiana right now. But I'll let you all know on Twitter what I'm going to do with that. And then Vanderbilt plus seven versus Kentucky. They're playing this game in Nashville. It's basically a home game. I like Vanderbilt a lot in this, but I'm not committing to it yet. Again, I'll post my Twitter closer to game time. My Twitter, by the way, is in the description below, so make sure y'all check that out. So a quick recap of what we already have. We have UConn minus three and a half. We have Creighton minus three and a half. We have TCU plus three. We have Kansas minus four and a half with some gains we'll be adding later. So guys, let's lock in those picks. Let's win together today. Let's make some money. I will see you all tomorrow. Make sure y'all check out those other videos.